Hi everyone, uh, Professor Muhammad Shah with you. Our main subject today uh, is about uh, uh, anaerobic digestion, biogas production process. Uh, but this one is a performance model. So, uh, and we have, previously we have uh, a design model. Uh, the difference between uh, design and performance is that in design model, we are much caring about uh, uh, the design aspects such as volume, collection volume, uh, the design of the of the system unit, and uh, by the knowing of uh, your production rate, and in performance model we have the design aspects such as the volume, uh, the collection volume, and the materials that you are going to add in uh, uh, the process, and we are going to calculate. Uh, the production rate from uh, the process. Open your MATLAB firstly and okay, go to your destination folder from here. Okay, this is my folder and okay, so I set my this is my design model and this performance model and click here in this one current folder. Click here and uh, try to select sort by name and group by type so you will find. Uh, the model is organized here okay uh, let's double clicking here okay this is our main model uh, we need to specify some uh, parameters double clicking on your uh, mother block okay and let's uh, uh, control plus maybe emphasize a little bit uh, okay so I need to uh, assign what is my collection volume okay this is so important I need to suppose I have uh, collection volumes maybe 20 uh, uh, cubic meters and 100 cubic meters up to you and I have to uh, uh, supply this uh, volume by some materials such as uh, we call it uh, feed stock types um, maybe one type maybe mixing of some materials such as human build fruits uh, it, it should be uh, the type and the total solids and uh, uh, multiply or the, uh, the number of this material. Suppose I have here uh, type 1, I, I, I just added uh, 5 types here, okay? And you can add more types if you'd like. Suppose I have uh, for the first one banana, for example, 20 kilograms of banana. Okay, multiply by 10, and uh, for this one I have uh, another material. Suppose it's it's about uh, 0.5, multiply by 20, okay, and so on. And I would like to the, the total solids for the, the the number one, the type one here, type one. Suppose it's 16%, okay, and the total solids for the type number two is about uh, 20%. Okay, and uh, what is your cost, interest rate, and plant lifetime? Maybe uh, 10 years. Okay, hit apply. Okay, and let's go inside here. Okay, as you can see here, this is your block which contains a code, and you can use this code if you would like in your research activities. Okay, as you can see, here's, there are uh, some inputs, and we have here some outputs. Uh, saving. Hit run and let's see uh, our outputs. What we have here. Okay. So based on our uh, uh, the assigned inputs we have here, you can calculate total influent required per kilogram. Okay. And total solid, uh, total discharge, uh, water mass to be added should be added to the system, and gas production meter cube per kilogram. Okay. Uh, the total solid per day, okay, as you can see here, collection volume is about uh, one meter cube, and uh, the sludge layer volume based on the, the total volume, uh, gas storage is about 1.94, and active uh, volume is about 14 uh, meter cube, retention time, we are going to calculate the retention time, to produce such amount of gases, we need 
uh, almost 37 days to produce such gases. Uh, diameter of uh, cylindrical part, suppose it's cylindrical, uh, volume of the top head, volume of bottom, volume of cylindrical part, a height of the top head, height of bottom head, a height of cylindrical portion and uh, biogas cost uh, US dollar per hour which is uh, uh, quite interesting suppose I would like to change maybe I I can add some or more parameters suppose I have uh, maybe 10 multiplied by uh, 10 okay and the total solid should be for type number 3 here so this is type number 3 maybe uh, 0.25 percent okay and hit apply and see okay let's hit run and okay it changes uh, our results uh, retention time decreased because I increased uh, the material decreased by 10 days uh, what about the volume suppose I have uh, 50 meter cube of total volume I think the retention time let's see if uh, it has some effect yes if you increase the, the, the storage volume so you you are sending a message to the to the unit that I need more gases and based on the specific material that I I already considered so therefore you as uh, the retention time will increase because you requesting more uh, production rates <coughs> I'm sorry okay you can you can control this uh, dynamically if you'd like by uh, saving your model in dynamic mode uh, suppose I I would like to control the volume um, you can control the volume suppose I have uh, different values of volume <coughs> as you can see <coughs> from one uh, meter cube up to 100 and uh, saving I'm sorry uh, hit run and you can uh, go into that and you have to <coughs> consider all these uh, outputs and send it to data inspector here okay so if you run this with respect to the, um, that 100 values let's check our uh, model <coughs> Uh, okay, so from one meter cube, one meter cube up to 100. Let's hit run and see. Okay, going to data inspector, you can realize as a variation based on your selection. Okay, total influent, no effect, total solids, diameter. This is your diameter increased because we increased the uh, volume of your uh, head volume uh, of volume of bottom head uh, cylindrical part uh, okay head of the top height of the uh, of the top head okay uh, biogas uh, hourly cost increasing total discharge remaining constant okay collection volume increasing gas storage volume increasing retention time increasing okay so you can study the effect of increasing the total volume or number of materials or uh, 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 percentage of solids total solids in your material so you can get your uh, result with respect to your uh, 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 collection volume if you would like finally i would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model don't forget to like share and uh, subscribe thank you very much